beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Fasting is abstinence from food to seek the Lord. If you are not seeking the Lord, you are not fasting. Hallelujah. Most times, people just stay away from food and go around gisting, sleeping, gossiping, allowing the devil to use them. That's not fasting. Fasting is abstaining from food to seek. The seeking part is the difference between fasting and just maybe some sort of diet control or whatever it is are we together now the idea is not to starve yourself you see you have to understand this the idea is not starvation it was on account of food a man gave away his destiny he says i prefer to eat than to have my destiny what is it in my destiny let me exchange that destiny for food called Esau in the Bible he was not clothes he said I am so hungry to hell with my destiny bring me that pottage of red steel and his destiny went away many people laugh at Esau but that's what we do all our lives we allow food to take away the place of an encounter that can change your life forever there is no one on earth i know no one who truly works in authentic power with god who does not fast not just as a ritual what food is to your sustenance is what fasting is to your spiritual growth nobody outgrows food nobody you can't say i've been eating for 40 years are we together now so I need us to be at the same pace so that we don't think it's just a starvation. Remember in the book of Acts 23, don't turn there. There were certain people who went to consult diviners on what to do with Paul. And the Bible says they bound themselves with a curse. And they said we will neither eat nor drink until Paul dies. Fasting so that an anointed man of God can die. Are we together now so we need to understand that this that god is doing is to empower us so that we can rise in life it's a sacrifice that god has designed for our lifting even jesus himself fasted and jesus was teaching and say when you fast not if you fast and when god declares a corporate fast there are individual fasts but there is a corporate fast that is a commanded fast is this not the kind of fast i have commanded you can do the one you want to do but when god commands it is because there is something that he has in mind hallelujah god bless you please be seated for a while
just pray one prayer lord jesus open my eyes open my eyes to the understanding of your word open my eyes please pray make sure you are praying open my eyes open my eyes Oh, 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 oh. chapter 19 tonight i'm sharing on the power of knowledge the power of knowledge luke chapter 19 in the new testament jesus cried twice the first reason why he cried listen carefully the first reason why jesus cried was when he was weeping at lazarus's grave and the bible records that oh how he loved him so love was one of the first reasons why jesus cried the second reason why he cried is found in luke chapter 19 from verse 41 luke chapter 19 luke chapter 19 blessed be the name of the lord luke chapter 19 verse 41 and when he was come near he beheld the city listen carefully and wept over it saying if thou hast known even thou at least in this thy day the things which belong unto thy peace he says but they are hidden from thy eyes jesus stood over a city and was weeping he was watching the way the people were guessing their lives and jesus your jesus started crying and his reason for crying is that if you had known the things that are responsible for your peace responsible for your peace not just the, uh, the quietness responsible for your results jesus stood and was crying and his his purpose of crying was the ignorance of the people in that city and the inevitable fact that they would continue to be victims of that ignorance he says you do not know the things that belong for your peace he says but now they are hidden from your eyes meaning that although you are looking you cannot see them this kingdom we have been drumming it from day one of this fast that this kingdom is a kingdom of information is a kingdom of light dominion in this kingdom is a product of knowledge not desire knowledge not intention knowledge hallelujah dominion in this kingdom is not just based on knowledge but based on sufficient knowledge having knowledge is not enough when a student goes to write exams the student is not writing another subject if he gets seven over hundred is that true he failed 93 percent and passed seven percent but the seven percent is not enough to pass the student so having knowledge is not enough there is a level of knowledge it takes for dominion to be true if the light goes off right now and you light a matchbox it is light but it is not sufficient enough to turn the night in this auditorium today so saying you have knowledge is not enough the knowledge must be sufficient to a degree that can bring you the result you desire the problem for many of us is not necessarily ignorance it is insufficient knowledge is God speaking to us we need deep 
enough knowledge not just knowledge deep enough knowledge about finances deep enough knowledge about divine health deep enough knowledge about the anointing deep enough knowledge about church growth deep enough knowledge about increase having knowledge is not enough it is true that we know some things but the challenge is those things may not hold all the keys that are required to command the results that we desire let me show you a verse that i found very very interesting first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 this blessed me in no small way first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 he says and if any man think that he knoweth anything he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to that means the proof that you are knowledgeable is that there is a desire in you for more that the moment there is a point in your life where you believe that you know enough the apostle is speaking that by the spirit that a sense of arrival and complacency is a symptom of insufficient knowledge Sinat sang that the more I know you, the more I want to know you. So when you encounter God, when you encounter the spirit of knowledge and revelation, the sign is that although you are working in great results, there remain a hunger in you for more. I am passionate about knowing the areas of ignorance in my life because there is so much I do not know. Are we together? Everything we desire in the kingdom is available. The grace of God has made it available. But it takes knowledge. Not just faith. Faith must be upon an, a person and an information that is correct. You can have faith in error. You can have faith in an information that is not correct. So it's not just having faith. The object of your faith must be authentic. You need a high level of insight and light. A high level of insight. A high level of light. Are we together? Scattered in this auditorium and all around and all those following us from the nations of the world. The reason, listen carefully. The reason why we have requests, why we have desires, is because there are expectations before us that are not yet our testimonies. There are expectations before us. There are things we desire. Some of you are here tonight trusting God for superior dimensions of the anointing. Some of you here are pastors. You are struggling with membership up today down tomorrow. And it's not that you are not anointed. But not to the degree to get the result you desire. There are people who are trusting God for certain levels of graces. But you see the thing is not just to say I have knowledge. Is it to the degree... That can give you the result i always liken knowledge i also liken the anointing to money if i want to take this this bottle of water and it is 100 naira if i have 70 naira i have money but not the value enough to purchase this this is what i am looking for so i must upgrade that value to the level that it can deliver this result are we together knowledge Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, the prophet of God was speaking by the spirit and he said, my people, he never said the hidden, my people, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Satan manipulated their understanding to make them see life from a perspective and the result of that aberration is the pain and the discomfort that they have. Knowledge. The Bible says, through knowledge shall the just be delivered. There is a relationship between knowledge and deliverance, not just prayer. I told you that not all spirits go by prayer. The Bible never said so. This kind, there is a kind that goes by prayer. There is a kind that goes by prayer and fasting. There is a kind that goes by knowledge. The devourer does not go by fasting. The devourer does not go by knowledge. The devourer goes by obedience to, a, obedience to a correct information. Are we together? 
I believe in fasting. I believe in prayer. That's what we are doing now. But I would be lying to you. Many believers keep mocking themselves, thinking just because you are praying and dissipating energy, it will cover for every spiritual predicament. No, sir. At best, God will take advantage of your alignment in prayer to lead you back to an information that is able to help you. In this kingdom, we reign on the strength of the light that we have. John chapter 1 and verse 5 says, The light shineth in darkness. The light shineth in darkness. The light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. For as long as it is night time in your life, weeping continues. The Bible says, weeping endureth for the night. You don't stop crying just because you are tired of crying. You stop crying because light enough to turn your nights to day. We are calling this place night now simply because something has happened to the sun in as much as we know. And we are not able to receive that illumination sufficient enough to turn the night to day. But a few hours now into the morning, everything is going to change. We rise in this kingdom by light, not desire. I desire prosperity is not enough to give you. I desire to walk in divine health. I desire for that hepatitis to go. I desire for that cancer to go. I desire for that HIV, that fibro to leave my body. I desire for that barren womb to take in. It takes knowledge. It takes knowledge, not just desire. Hallelujah. You hear the testimonies of the people who God is granting them grace. Don't you think God just chose to bless them now? It is now the knowledge has come to them. And so it makes it look like this is the season God has wanted to bless you. He's always wanted to do it. But you only arise and shine when your light comes. Not when it's available. It has always been available. But the day it comes to you. Every lady's womb. In this auditorium can take seed but it doesn't make you pregnant automatically the day a real seed enters that womb then the process of conception starts are we together but as you are now seated that womb can produce so it's not enough to just say I have potentials I know what can happen no if God wants to change your life he grants you knowledge every religion that oppresses men in the world thrives through mysticism and ignorance the strength of victimization and oppression is withholding classified information from people the difference between the intelligence unit of the american nation and other nations of the world is their access to classified information there is a kind of information that is not given to the third world nations to know. It is only supplied to them if they go and plead with the intelligence unit and then they give them terms. Is that true? As terrible as terrorism is on earth, right from space, there is a system of watching on earth, real time. But that information will not be given to you is the privilege of the holders of that information. That's why they are called world powers. They are not called world powers because they are bigger. They are called world powers because they have access to classified information. So we reign in this kingdom. Not just because of how macho we are. Not just because of how fluent we are. But the access to the information. The Bible says Jesus himself knew what to do. That's dominion. To know what to do. Good master, what must I do to be saved? In other words, I want to be saved, but it's not yet my experience. And I know that the bridge between me and that result is knowledge. Good master, what must I do? Not just that I desire to be saved. Good master, what must I do to be blessed financially? What must I do to be lifted? What must I do to rise to a realm where my body no longer hosts sickness? I shared with us a revelation, I don't know which of the days, that the Bible says when a spirit leaves a man, remember? A spirit does not leave a man on his own. It is casted. Is that true? Out of that person. In my name ye shall cast out devils. They don't want to go. 
but an anointing compels them to leave and then the bible says they go through desert regions listen carefully and something about the desert does something to that spirit and without any prayer warrior praying the spirit leaves the desert and prefers to come back to the man hmm. the desert that something can happen in a desert no prayer meeting going on no fasting going on a spirit can be so uncomfortable in the desert and it will rather return back to the man that means there is something the body of man can become that can make spirits even without any man praying they will leave and that mystery you see in the desert is what the bible calls the mystery of fire this fire you see is a mystery there is something about the heat of the desert physically that does something to spirits and they prefer that's why when jesus casted them they entered the swine straight into the water straight into the water and the people drove me said leave this place when a spirit leaves a man there is something about the habitation of a mortal man that is conducive for a spirit and the moment it leaves it it goes through desert regions and something happens not compatible to their design and he says i have to leave this area of hostility so the bible says he maketh his angels winds and his ministers flames of fire that when a man becomes a flame of fire no spirit no charm no no cause by themselves you will have a dream and watch certain things leave you the first thing that happened to samson they bound his hand and the bible says when the hand of the lord came upon him suddenly heat from nowhere turned that thing the Bible says it was like flax and all of a sudden he let it go. Are we together? We must be deeply passionate about spiritual knowledge. Not useless knowledge. There are all kinds of knowledge on earth. Occultism can give you knowledge about the spirit realm. That's why Jesus said, I am the door. The authorized system for routing this knowledge. You can read all kinds of books online and that's why we have to be careful especially for we young people because in our appetite to chase knowledge we have found ourselves dappling into occultic there are books that moses wrote but those books are occultic books your real moses he wrote those books before he encountered god he wrote them as a very good student who was trained in egypt today they use those books for occultism he teaches you geometry how to align yourself to certain angles on the earth that will make you be in touch with the constellations moses taught it so when we talk of knowledge we are not just talking of a random pursuit of anything that is spiritual in this day and age where we measure respect for ministry by how much what we supposedly call depth we must be careful the proof of knowledge is the deliverance that it brings that's why many people keep growing supposedly in revelation and with all that rema the devil oppresses you as if that he's telling you i'm not aware whatever it is you are celebrating i'm not aware true knowledge liberates we pride ourselves with useless knowledge that is incapable of standing the test of time and bringing the victory that we desire stood over the city and wept and said you do not know the things that belong for your peace hallelujah let me show you something psalms 45 and verse 4 psalm 45 thank you jesus it says and in thy majesty right prosperously because of what truth not just meekness not just all of these things and thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things right prosperously not because of desire because of truth it says and ye shall know the truth and if it is really the truth you can know what you think is the truth you can know what a pastor tells you is the truth 
you can know what a denomination tells you is the truth but if it is really the truth the bible says it makes men free there are supposed truths in the body of christ that don't make men free ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth acquiring things that puff us up knowledge that puffs up doesn't heal doesn't deliver doesn't bless doesn't make people closer to god there is power in knowledge there is power in knowledge there is power when knowledge is applied we reign in this kingdom by the mysteries that we know but the manifestation the potency of those truths are brought to the scene when we act the first thing to do is to get knowledge not to act the first thing to do is to build conviction through the requisite knowledge that will bring you the result this bible you see is a compendium of all kinds of knowledge that scatter across different subject matters so the assignment of the believer is to walk as though you are walking through a garden and find the details that are responsible in this book is the knowledge that will take anybody from a failure to a success it's true in this book your assignment is to walk with the spirit of god are we together to be able to piece together all the required information not some not as much as you want all the required information in this world there is a system where men can walk in divine health it is true it is true now if your experience has not captured that reality it does not mean the word of god lied it is that you have not been able to construct in your spirit and your mind all the keys that are required to produce that outcome you can give me the ingredients to make fried rice and miss one important ingredient and what i will produce will not be called fried rice yes rice but not fried rice the difference between jollof rice and fried rice is combination rice is there in all of them are we together now yes there's a lot of ignorance in the body of christ there is a lot of cramming scripture there is a lot of quoting scripture there is a lot of devotionals there are a lot of translations of the bible there are so many books but there is very little knowledge that is required because if that knowledge translates to wisdom it will be justified by the children that it will produce hallelujah i don't want the kind of knowledge that puffs me up into pride you know knowledge can do something to you if you are not careful it can bring you to a sense of pride open to john chapter 4 verse you just ah he's going to verse 17 but the person who is talking there is not spiritual he's not god fearing he's under oppression he's sick as he's talking there and broke on top yet the person is telling you i know you are going to verse 17 that's ex the exact kind of knowledge Satan needs. So he, he deceives you into being convinced that you are also a colleague in the realm of results. Whereas your life is not producing anything. I know everything about getting people filled with the Holy Ghost. I can go to Acts chapter 1. Yes, I know Isaiah 28. I know Joel chapter 2. Here is a gentleman in need of the baptism. And you stand and struggle around there and create all kinds of flimsy excuses i know what the bible says concerning prosperity oh malachi chapter 3 bring ye all the tithes oh you know luke chapter 6 i know for my sake he became poor show me the result show me in your mind and show me in your life how god anointed jesus is it that one i know it i i can even tell you the amplified version and we think that just because we gather those things we have knowledge no sir no sir we must be passionate about knowledge 
just because they made you a bible study leader in your church does not mean you are knowledgeable you are just the one who is representing the church and that's wonderful continue doing what you are doing but if it is results you are looking for you have to go back it's not a bible study manual that makes you knowledgeable demons don't have respect for those things i'm not against them but i'm saying much more than those things you have to go and sit down Martha was running up and down. He said, Martha, Martha, you were worried and, and, and um, offended about many things. He said, one thing is needful, to sit down at the master's feet. Lord, what is this secret to favor? What is it? Not, I know there is favor. Most of the results we want, we believe it exists. But how to make it our experience is where the challenge is. And that's one of the benefits of fasting ultimately your faith rises but the bible says the kind of fast i have commanded your light will break forth there is something about the supremacy that your spirit man will gain over your flesh because your flesh has been starved of food and the strength of the flesh is the availability of food when the flesh is energetic it runs around and plays games but when there is the absence of food it has a way of forcing suppression to your flesh and then your spirit man can hear and understand then shall your light break forth shall your light break forth and your health speedily your health physical health hallelujah only if that our loved ones knew certain truths look at me look at all of us now in this place Brothers and sisters, look at the knowledge that God has granted us access to. Imagine, what, have you had certain revelations and immediately you almost start crying because you wish somebody you love so much. Think how many times you watch sincere people, sincere Christians become victims of the oppression of darkness. Through knowledge shall the just be delivered. It takes knowledge to prosper. It doesn't just take God to prosper. It takes knowledge. It takes knowledge to walk in the anointing. There must be a desperate desire in your heart and my heart to pant after knowledge. To pant after truth. He said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house. I know that that place is Bethel, the place of bread, where there is knowledge. I'd rather be than to go around celebrating. Please hear me. Those who are standing by the roadside and inside all the overflows, right where you are standing, the difference between you and any man you admire, whether in business, in ministry, in, 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 in finances, family life, whatever it is, is knowledge. When a man fights with his wife and beats his wife, it's not just the presence of demons. The demons don't just act anyhow. The demons take advantage of the ignorance. Are we together? Demons don't just act. They don't just veto your will and act. They take advantage of the gap in knowledge or the incompleteness of your knowledge. And then they take advantage of it. It is more dangerous to have incomplete knowledge. It's better to have complete ignorance. Because the days of our ignorance, God overlooks. God can overlook certain things. Like you see a little child doing certain things. And you are aware that that child does not have an ability to have that knowledge at that level. And so you forbear. If a small child comes and is rolling here now and playing around, we may just guide the child in love, but not to flog the child because at that level we expect that to happen but if as an adult you come and you are doing it we will first find out whether it's the holy ghost making you do it and if we find out it's not the one we will send you away and we'll say no 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 you don't do this there is order in the house of god are we together mm. if you say you have been born again that you are in christ you have access to the spirit of god then certain things should be seen in your life that validates the fact that you are walking with the word that validates the fact that you are not just reading your bible in the morning just as a ritual to say be a witness you see me doing my devotion today that's not knowledge it can be religion in fact most times it is religion 
open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things open down my eyes open down my eyes he said call on to me and I will answer and I will show you not tell you show you great and mighty things that you do not know great and mighty things great and mighty dimensions of the anointing that you do not know great and mighty dimensions of influence that you do not know let me tell you this anybody in your life you see with sustainable results in any area do not make a mistake of thinking it is luck are we together no there is no luck in this equation when you see a mother train 11 children and for 30 years those children have remained in a way a manner that even shocks you don't just say Kai, madam you are lucky or what kind of anointing is on you no it's not just the anointing god can give you the same anointing on that woman and you won't be able to train one child with it that anointing functions well through knowledge knowledge gives the anointing efficiency knowledge gives the anointing efficiency the anointing does not just work anyhow knowledge gives the anointing efficiency otherwise there would not be need for the renewal of the mind knowledge gives the anointing efficiency you are still anointed but he said let this mind be in you which was in christ jesus hallelujah have you seen a man maybe an old elderly man that didn't have the privilege to go to school didn't have the privilege to learn english but a greatly anointed man you can see that that man utilized less than on a scale of one to ten less than four of that anointing take that same anointing don't change it the same anointing put it on another young man who is more knowledgeable and more vast in scripture that's when you will see the true potential of what that anointing could do that means that old man's lack of knowledge limited the operation of the anointing that's what happened to some of our parents the old people who were prophets they loved god they had dangerous prophetic graces but there was no accurate understanding of the word so the dispensing of their prophetic looks so limited but then you take the same prophetic anointing and you put on someone who is mighty in scripture and you see the kind of miracles and deliverances that will come for people knowledge is important in this kingdom you pay for your ignorance it will not be paid for you will pay for it in this kingdom you will pay for your ignorance you will pay for it in sickness you will pay for it in untimely death you will pay for it in lack of joy you will pay for it in sorrow you will pay for it in all kinds of diseases darkness continues to multiply but it takes those who have light light sufficient to keep the kind of results they desire is god speaking to us we are going to pray but the cry is for knowledge for knowledge for knowledge for knowledge lord give me knowledge why is our family like this we are 20 in the, the entire family but nobody rises you know i watch how i talk to people many times sometimes here on the queue and then around as i travel and they meet me and communicate certain challenges and in all honesty and with all humility i know what they are doing wrong that is responsible for that and i know what they need to do to get the result and then they say apostle pray for me i know just a touch from you as soon as you touch me everything will go and it is true that they can get some measure of results but ultimately they need to sit down and that spiritual laziness they just say that's why we love the prophetic so much not necessarily because we appreciate it that is from god it looks like an easy remedy and an alternative to sitting down and knowing god so we love it just tell me this business trip will i make it or not i don't want to hear any story though i don't need to learn how to talk to the people it's not, i just tell me just tell me this lady i'm going to marry is my morning clear is my afternoon clear is my evening clear or whatever it is but sir there are principles to work with women i don't care just tell me 
God should be able to know. Our refusal to get knowledge has equated to the strength of Satan in our lives. He looks mighty because our ignorance gave him the ladder to climb that high. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me say it again. That Satan looks mighty in our lives because our ignorance provided the ladder for him to climb and look so mighty. But when you get knowledge, brothers and sisters, in my little life, I've seen the power of knowledge. When knowledge is correct and it is applied to the letter, that's when you will see how cheap Satan is. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, Savior, he can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. upon a time i'm looking for him where is he doctor come i thought he was there do you know once upon a time this gentleman was a naive young gentleman with a desire to become the future of himself is that true he saw an expectation but he was a naive gentleman and all that happened to him in the medical school they didn't change his cloth they didn't change his name they only kept supplying knowledge when the knowledge was enough they took him higher enough they took him higher enough they took him higher one day someone who was a master in that field looked at him and said based on the knowledge you have you deserve a certification to go and practice as a doctor the different as anointed as i am the difference between me and this guy if someone is convulsing i will pray for him because i don't know what else to do is that true all i know in my world is that all wickedness and evil is from satan and so that's exactly what i'll do because that's my knowledge and i will watch somebody who is sick having typhoid fever and i'm shaking around and here comes he already knows that this one if it can be attended to it does not kill so while the mother he said hey help my son the doctor is all right knowledge gives you stability stability fear is a revelation that there is a gap in knowledge panicking over everything you just hear something on your zing hey they are here again just like they said because there's something you do not know are we together now yes you can see him stand and while he's performing whatever he's doing his whole medical activity someone else is there watching and and panicking and he says don't worry and two days he just prescribes a drug oh are you doing this are you coughing are you vomiting oh i see and the person says, help me oh and the person goes to bed and wakes up the next day as if it's a lie and says doctor i'm fine knowledge knowledge is that true that means there is something you can know that will make you go to bed and wake up the next day in shock and surprise there's something you can know about favor the the i believe that all of these miracle alerts and all of this they are they are a statement i told you that a sign is a miracle with a message in it god is saying this is how easy i can change your life if you believe me you see the people coming to testify they are even shy they are surprised themselves because it's no respecter of persons are we together tonight we are going to pray and i'm going to pray for the sick very fast very fast we can't continue like this tomorrow we may not it's a miracle service but i don't know if we'll have time to pray for the sick because tomorrow god is going to tear the heavens over this place Aye. 
hallelujah the anointing oil is already i mean they carried it out. when i saw the jar coming i said please come <laughs> oh come oh come together we will we will cry and speak every kind of mystery in it. <laughs> ah when the woman was saying there is nothing in my house the anointing was hearing the conversation and said so you are ignoring me you gathered me among non-living things and said you don't have anything he said change the vessel and see what i can do the anointing was hearing the conversation are you not told that you have an anointing that can teach in english when things move uh, when things move uh, living things biology everything you said you, you personify things by giving them life and attributes of humans the oil is a dead thing it is the anointing that makes the oil alive the anointing makes anything alive including a rod that was dead are we together so tonight we are going to pray listen to me let me just give you one truth sit down please just one can i talk about sickness for just five minutes look at me what is it with satan and sickness and diseases please listen i know that there may be a number of people sick now trusting god for healing what if i go to the hospital right now don't feel bad not talking against you that's why the power of god is here if they look at me now and doctor diagnoses me and say young man i just found out that there is a heart palpitation or there is a hole in your heart or there is a tumor in your brain correct or there is a fibroid somewhere some kind of malignant growth blocking your tubes or whatever what exactly is satan achieving with this what is it with satan and the bodies of men what is he looking for i will tell you if you don't know this you will not see the need for the healing ministry the healing ministry is not just a validation that a man is anointed there are many other ways to validate that a man is anointed jesus was very ruthless about healing the healing ministry is not just some showmanship of testimony to show that a man is a good evangelist or apostle or prophet or whatever no you see remember our our teaching on the the serpent the seed right the serpent and the woman that satan knows that there is a law right it's called the law of territory that you can only be allowed to stay in a territory if you have the requisite demands of that territory i give you an instance if i throw you inside water now you may be able to swim but not forever because that is not your habitation of existence so your design was not made that way but if i throw a fish a fish can stay there forever a man can fly in the air but not indefinite he has to come down even if the plane does not spoil something will happen to his health that pressure gradient will affect him eventually are we together now so we now see that on earth as a human being god's system for functioning on earth is that your spirit must have a body that was built before it becomes legal are we together so if there is no body your spirit is an illegal occupant it may not be legal in the realm of the spirit and in other dimensions of the heavens but on the earth your body your spirit must be hosted in a material body god himself respected this law when he was about to come to the earth a body has thou prepared for me not a spirit the spirit is still the real me but a body had to be prepared are we together now and so christ could come into that body mary's womb did not produce the word of god mary's womb produced a coat a physical body children are inherited from the lord but they need a body is that true they need a body so here's what satan knows that for as long as there are many bodies it means that there are many spirits that can be hosted in those bodies that have wills and can choose to serve god and can choose to advance the kingdom are you seeing the conspiracy of darkness in trying to create the system of clothing and the rest as wonderful as they are eventually they are antichrist systems in an attempt to to clone different bodies so that these demons remember the demons we have been talking about i hope you know those demons are still looking for bodies till today 
so they are coming up with a system to make robots and educate the robots to be so intelligent but without spirit so that a demon spirit can come into it there are films like that you watch them where scientists try to make all kinds of robots then they invoke through a central machine a spirit is not acting that's satan's agenda but meanwhile there is a level of health that your body must assume for your spirit to safely stay there you know your body is a house god said it is a temple demon said it is a house so we know that both god and satan agree that this body is a house are we together now and so satan tries to inflict all kinds of damages there is a damage that can happen to my body it will break the body so much the spirit will be will have to leave we call that death a separation are we together every sickness is the first step towards death every if i am sick i am closer to death being sick than i am alive so the ultimate goal of sickness is not to bring you down so you'll be fine tomorrow the ultimate goal of sickness is to start initiating the process of death in your life in hope that it will continue that's why doctors are a real blessing those who work in the anointing hate doctors we love doctors here we have a lot of them because we realize that it would take more than a man of god this damage that has been done by hell will require people who keep standing because even the doctors themselves believe in miracles they don't talk to the drugs they just administer it the drug itself the system of its operation is a mystery that only god can tell so medicine itself is a miracle if you go to the hospital you attended a miracle service because something in that hospital is beyond the knowledge of the doctor are we together so satan wants to afflict me imagine that i came up now and i'm coughing i'm coughing blood think of what it would do to your faith one two think of what it would do to the to kingdom advance are we together think of what it would do so satan wants it it's a statement god you are not you are not all that you say and i'm using your highest creation to mock you the healing ministry proves the lordship of jesus in a very significant way the healing ministry does not just prove the strength of the man of god it's a testament of the dominion power of god doctors understand this the next time you are injecting somebody don't just say are you recovering expect something to flow through your contact with that syringe into the person that accelerates the process so tonight hear me if there is any sickness in your body it's a sign that satan desires to kill you it's not a sign that what he, he desires is proof it is the first stage to begin to deteriorate you there are people who are sick but you go to the hospital and they tell you there is nothing wrong that's satan for you a few days ago a lady brought me brought me um a photo of someone i think she's here just a little boy ajimi little boy on the leg and within months this had rotten if she, if they turn the other leg you see the bones physical bones the flesh had eaten is that a boil is that how you know that boils work another life attaching itself to your body behold i give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy he says and nothing shall by any means hurt you how god anointed jesus of nazareth chapter 10 verse 38 with the holy ghost and with power he went about doing good healing all they that were sick oppressed sickness is an oppression if you are accommodated the devil will kill you with that sickness everywhere jesus saw sick people and they were serious enough about their healing think of what happened to the woman with the issue of blood imagine you were the one that married her and she was your wife 12 years of pain watching your wife every day and here comes jesus 
imagine the woman who had been bound for 18 years imagine what would happen to her family life the healing ministry is an end time ministry it's not for healing evangelists it's not for apostles is part of the tools that make us demonstrators of the reality of the life and power of god the power of god must be demonstrated upon his highest creation not just plants and animals and tonight in the name of jesus christ i'm trusting the lord that there are people here who will wave goodbye do you know what god is going to do god is going to turn your own body into a volcano and no devil no spirit the same way they leave deserts in peace that's how they will have to walk out of your body in peace hallelujah you have won the victory hallelujah Hallelujah, you have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King, seated in majesty. an exposition of your area of ignorance lord reveal to me what do i need to know what do i need to know to take me to the next dimension in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray everywhere lift your voice and begin to pray expose my area of ignorance expose my area of ignorance expose my area of ignorance expose expose my area of ignorance financial ignorance the <laughs> hallelujah i like you to prophesy to yourself and say every area of my life where satan has taken advantage of me by the power of knowledge i declare that your victory in that area is broken lift your voice and pray every area may be your finances may be your spiritual life may be in the area of growth Every ministry, every area where Satan has taken advantage in the name of Jesus, by the power of Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time in the name of Jesus. Father. 
open my eyes to the revelations required for the results I desire. Say it again, Father. Open my eyes to the revelation of the truths, the information that are required for the results that I desire. Open your mouth and pray. Every result has a demand. Every result has a light requirement. Every result I desire. There is something I must know. There is something I must do. Hallelujah. One of the benefits, listen to me, of the word of God is that it can be sent on Aaron. He said he sent forth his word like a messenger. And he says his word he led them. Listen carefully. He sent forth his word. He sent it. He didn't speak it. He didn't say he spoke forth. He sent forth his word. I can be talking to you, but I can say, go and help me do something. He sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them from all their destruction. Please, let me tell you something. We are just going to pray one prayer and I'm going to pray for the sick. Demons are responsible for infirmities. Don't confuse it. Are we together now? There are families tied down with all kinds of plagues, patterns. Father stroke, mother stroke, firstborn stroke, first lady daughter stroke. What kind of devil is that? I'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and tell the Lord what must live your life this night. The anointing to make it go is available. Lord, this genotype issue, Lord, this pain, this migraine, pray, Hallelujah. You must believe this. You are barren here tonight. You must be ready to take in now. You don't take in when you meet your husband. Meeting your husband gives the baby a body. You take in when the word of God gets to you. Be it unto me. Joseph was not there. Let's, let's agree with God for God's sake tonight and frustrate certain medical reports that only God, only God can take away. Are we together now? Lord, I'm ready to receive my healing. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 
Now listen. My God, there is such an anointing. I'm going to pray. Just, just flow, guys. Not that sound. Please change all those things. Play the strings for me. Praise the Lord. Now we are going to pray. You have. I'm going to minister the healing power of Jesus. We may take some instant testimonies here. There's no time to call people out. We do that during the miracle services because we want to be thorough on everybody. But scattered across overflow, one, two, three, those online, wherever you are, the healing power of Jesus is able to touch you wherever you are. Are we together? Now I'm going to be praying for you. As I pray for you and the power of God touches you, there are some of you, you will be surprised at what will happen to you right now. While we finish praying, I'm going to give you an opportunity to check yourself. Now listen please, Osha's protocol just coordinates so we don't have people roaming around. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, are we together? I want you to make your way to the front. Let there be people at, at different points just stationed and we'll have a way of receiving some of them here. Jimmy, you help me. And then we'll see how we can take a few testimonies to disgrace the devil tonight. We may not be able to take all, but tonight we want to give room to the God that can step in and rubbish the works of Satan. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? This is very, very important. I want to pray for you now. Already people have been healed. Some of you, as you came, you found out. Don't be afraid. I'm going to pray for you. Bring the lady that the angel of the Lord is going to touch outside with a loud shout. Bring her. Just let me do my thing now. I'm ministering by the spirit of prophecy. I'm going to pray for the sick. Please let me have that lady quickly. I want to pray for her. It's a sign that God is giving to pray for the sick. We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. So let it rain. name of Jesus Christ you see God does these things you know that this is a ministry of signs and wonders and God does these things as a message praise the Lord the Lord is setting this lady's family free I see oppression I command that spirit it's time to go let her go in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and for you I take this that the devil has put in your stomach in the name of Jesus every planting that is not of the lord in the name of jesus it leaves now lay one hand where you are trusting god for healing quickly lay one hand where you are trusting god for healing if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest inside and outside please expect a miracle right now expect a miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my God in the name of Jesus Christ I take authority over the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus I command every devil of sickness every devil of sickness come out of their bodies now in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit of infirmity I take authority over you right now. I take authority over you right now. Every spirit of infirmity within this vicinity, I take authority over you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity in their lives by covenant, in their lives by disobedience, 
in their lives by ignorance I take authority over you right now right now I declare be healed in the name of Jesus I send the healing power of Jesus like a drug into your body I command cleansing right now in the name of Jesus I command healing right now in the name of Jesus I command healing in the name of Jesus something is happening to you a chest condition is being healed right now in the name of Jesus several chest conditions as a matter of fact right now something is leaving your chest you will feel like fire just going like this and you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ I see an eye condition the Lord is healing an eye condition in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone with a tooth problem you have your molars like severe pain I don't know if it's like hole in the teeth right now that hole closes now in the name of Jesus I close that hole now in the name of Jesus Christ lower abdominal pain I'm seeing several ladies with lower abdominal pain I'm seeing like fire leaving me to all of those ladies in the name of Jesus lower abdominal pain be healed right now be healed right now I'm seeing a lady right from the last three like three weeks you have been bleeding severely whether you're on your menstrual cycle or not severe bleeding right now the power of God is coming upon you coming upon you now coming upon you now and is living completely in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone you don't hear well with your right ear you don't hear well with your right ear all of a sudden it opens now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ pile there are at least three people I'm seen with pile I command in the name of Jesus that devil be healed be, be, let them go right now and pile be healed in Jesus name now there is a lady don't be embarrassed I'm seeing you are not a nursing mother yet there are discharges on your breast this is something that is, 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 a, is, is an embarrassing thing the devil has used to mock you the power of God is coming on that lady right now and there is complete healing complete healing I'm seeing someone with a growth in your neck just somewhere here after the prayer you will check it and you will not see that growth again it disappears and leaves in the name of Jesus Christ if there's anyone in this place on a crutch or on a wheelchair when I finish praying throw that cross and stand up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare if there's anyone having any kind of walking aid the moment I finish praying throw it and stand up in the name of Jesus every pain on your limbs anyone with pain on your limbs I command healing right now peptic ulcer be healed right now peptic ulcer be healed right now all forms of hepatitis be healed right now be healed right now SSAS be healed right now be healed right now if there is anyone here with any growth in your body the devil has planted any lump on your breast your body or any part of your your system in the name of Jesus I command that growth to disappear right now I command that go to disappear right now in the name of Jesus there's there's somebody you have I don't know what problem you have with your nose the Lord is showing me this is something that has affected your ability to smell it has affected your ability to smell after the prayer you will be surprised everything just leaves right now in Jesus name I'm seeing someone with a pain just right here at the arm in the name of Jesus Christ I command that pain to leave right now I command that pain to leave right now I command that pain to leave right now now don't be embarrassed I'm seeing someone there is like a severe boil around your private area and this boil has an unusual pain you have treated it again and again and again and it will not go in the name of Jesus I command healing for you right now I command healing for you right now I command healing for you right now someone had a dream 
and in the dream they used an object and they hit you with it physically when you got up this side madam you are the one i'm talking about you come let me talk to you because immediately i spoke the lord told me this is a woman come do i know you madam you had a dream is that true and they hit you with yes at, at that time i was pregnant they hit me with a, something like spear like a spear yes and sir. from that time you've been having that pain yes, till now sir. even the son i gave back to he came out with that pain he came out with that pain too yes madam you came here for koinonia this is where all things are possible all not some all things are possible hold my hands in the name of jesus i bring an end to this oppression in the name of Jesus, let that devil leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm still praying. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm seeing um, there is somebody just right here at, at, at this, this point of my leg. There is severe pain, like muscle pull. Sometimes it holds on you and you cannot even move. The Lord is setting you free right now. There is somebody, your eyes, when you look physically, it looks like they are putting a rod in front of you like a, a a little object coming out of you are looking but it's like your eyes one of it is beginning to close and it looks like there is a rod or something like that on your eyes this is what i'm seeing i command that eye to be open right now now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed overflow one be healed overflow two be healed overflow three be healed our family online be healed and in the main auditorium here be healed in the name of jesus christ hallelujah come unto me how many of us are christians he said come unto me all ye that are what weary and heavy laden what is your reward i will give you rest it's a promise it's not a suggestion that every time you are weary every time you are heavy laden in other words there are all kinds of situations on your life that require the power of god he says come unto me and i will give you rest i submit to you ladies and gentlemen that the ultimate solution to the entire problems of mankind is an encounter with jesus christ now i know many of us will think we understand what i'm saying the ultimate solution you can patch things here and there you can counsel you can advise but the truth of the matter is that the ultimate solution to man's problem notice i didn't say receiving jesus i said an encounter with jesus they are not the same you can receive a thing and reject it when you have an encounter it becomes part of you inseparable are we together and jesus is teaching here give it to us please john 14 and then verse 6 and he said unto them read on i am hold on this jesus now that we need to have an encounter with creates dimensions of himself it is i told us that the dealings of god with men is dimensional are we together now so when you just say encounter jesus i told you that the challenges of men is the absence of jesus in their lives now this jesus breaks himself into three dimensions and he says i am all of this number one is what everybody said the way number two the truth number three the life these three things he says i am the way i am the truth now he's talking to people who are weary he's talking to people who are weak he's talking to people who need miracles he's talking to people who need his hand in their lives and he says i am all of this the way the truth and the life are we together now jesus the way describes him as god's authorized method of achieving anything write it down you did an encounter with jesus the way Jesus the way is a revelation of the principles of the kingdom. Jesus says, I am the way. The way that leads you to anything that is worthwhile. Our world is full of confusion. Men and women seeking answers from finances, listen carefully, to peace 
and jesus says i am that way you are looking for many things will act and try to be like the way but he says i am the way the way talks of the pathway the authorized channel you must have an encounter with jesus the way otherwise confusion will never end in your life are we together now jesus the way proverbs chapter 14 and verse 2 please help us proverbs chapter 14 and verse 2 the bible says is it two? Oh dear i can't find it again there is a way that seemeth right unto a man that's the scripture i'm looking for it says but the end thereof are the ways of death there is a way that seemeth right it looks right but the bible says that the end thereof are the ways of death but jesus says i am the way there's no confusion now let me tell you something we live in a world that is full of methods we write books about methods ways of parenting ways of living in health are we together ways of success ways of lifting ways of this and that and all of those things are beneficial but when it comes to your life and godliness jesus gives you his recommendation i am the method i am the authorized approach to all things that means you have options but jesus says there's no guarantee you know how you buy a product and nafta tells you you are buying it at your own expense our product has our stamp the father is speaking to earth and say every time you find yourself in confusion jesus the way is your path back to life jesus many people have encountered jesus but they have not encountered the way hmm. the way out of foolishness wisdom is justified by her children the way out of failure the light of god's word jesus the way he's introducing himself tonight because there are people gathered tonight and this is what you came for an encounter with jesus the way you are born again maybe you even love god but you have not encountered jesus the way your life is full of guesses trial and error hoping that one of the principles you manipulate will eventually lead to answers but let me tell you the truth the bible says to walk circumspectly that means that for every outcome we desire in the kingdom there is an authorized pathway you are not the first to look for money there is an authorized pathway to bail people out you are not the first way the, the first person to seek restoration you are not the first person to seek whatever it is we live in a world of lamentation we find out that the word of god is a compendium of possibilities but there are ways but there is the way the bible is full of men who tried other ways some of them achieved what they were looking for with their side effects that was not worth it but here's what jesus says i am the way everybody say jesus the way say it again jesus the way say jesus my way now you will think that after talking nicely like this many people will pay attention to re-examine their approach to life how many families are leading themselves based on the way you know that culture is a way everybody say culture is a way yes there is a way that culture teaches to do things there is a way that civilization teaches to do things there is a way that exaggerated intellectualism teaches to do things there is a way that over dependence on science says to do things for instance it is the way of god that teaches that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty that is jesus the way speaking there is science the way there is philosophy the way gather as much as you can loot and destroy people and hope you will make it he says i set before you life and death i set before you blessing and cursing there is the way to growth there are many other ways that attempt to help you grow are we together there is the way to peace for instance the bible says as much as it depends on you live at peace with all men that's god's recommendation you can choose to fight you can choose to quarrel and kill yourself do you know 
that most of the pain in our lives are because we followed other methods well intentioned but the way is wrong are we blessed Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16 please let's look at it for step by step you lead me and I will follow you all of my days for step by step you lead me and I will follow you all of my days oh God you are my God and I will ever praise you oh I'll seek you in the morning. I will seek you in the morning. And I have learned to walk in your ways. For step by step, you will lead me. And I will follow you all of my ways. The Bible says, Thus saith the Lord. Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls. But stubborn Nigerians will say what? But stubborn family people will say what? We will choose our way. Ah! All these young people, they don't know what they are saying. And we choose methods that punish us again and again. Let me tell you something. You see, the word of God is ageless. The word of God is timeless. The principles that God delivers to us are the same principles he rules heaven with. Are we together? It's not borrowed. They are the very principles that heaven is governed by. Jesus the way. An encounter with the methods of God. There is a way that a man must behave to a woman. For there to be peace in a family there is a way a man can choose to behave that there will never be peace correct there is a way a wife must respond to her husband for peace to reign there is a way children must behave to their parents there is a way parents must behave to their children there is a way young people must behave we have ignored jesus the way and guessed our strategy and our formula and is punishing us again and again culture says when your wife attempts to treat you bad beats the living daylight out of her as a sign of your masculinity culture the way it never told you what will happen so you beat your wife and all of a sudden you find out that your heavens are closed because the Bible says the opening of your heavens as a married man depends on the way you treat your wife so your heavens are closed business shuts down and you turn around and they tell you your wife is the witch and you move around and you do not know you have violated the way you may be born again but have you met Jesus the way everybody say Jesus the way one of one of the greatest fears in my life is to not walk in the path i'm walking with only to find out that i was wrong my greatest fear in life is walking in error the bible says be careful what you call light lest it be not darkness could it be that after 50 years of walking in a way you are suddenly realizing you've been walking away from God. If you want to get God's results, you must use his methods. You're not going to use your methods and ask God to produce his results in it. God is already speaking to us. This is a miracle service. Many people need miracles for several reasons. Some miracles are, their, their need for it is a product of ignorance. I am the way I am the way 
there is a way to choose friends that will make you a useful person there is a way you choose bad and ungodly friends and they scatter and destroy your life and eat away your dreams nobody likes me nobody wants to become my friend there is a way god's way to behave he that wants friends must first show himself friendly you can't insult everybody around you castigate everybody and say i want friends uh -uh. there is a way and a state a woman must be to be found as a wife the bible says he that finds a wife it is a marine her is what makes her a wife a wife is not a there is she must be a wife before she is found a wife is not a name to a married woman a wife is a state a compendium of virtue well worked on by the spirit then you are qualified to be found you can't live your life anyhow and hope that somebody who has been laboring with god learning the principles of the kingdom filing his destiny left right and center will just jump into your life god is not unjust the same way there is a way a man must behave are we together you can't behave like a thief behave like an arm robber behave irresponsible you don't know where you are going you don't care you don't even know where your friends are going and you just see a nice godly sister in the house of god well taught well trained by god and you stroll around carelessly and hope that you will marry her you are following another way and it's leading you to disaster there is a way a young man behaves that makes him a failure guaranteed no mentorship no learning no building no commitment in the house of god there is a way men serve god that it becomes acceptable if they obey and serve him that's god's way they shall spend their days in prosperity their years in prosperity their days in pleasure the way it's an attempt to show us the principles of the kingdom that are responsible for the outcomes we desire if i hand the mic over at random and i call 10 people and i ask them why are you here someone will say there's fire in my house i came here so that god will resolve the fire the fire is not just prayer there are, there may be spirits roaming around don't worry we're going to take care of them but much more than the spirit because you are also a spirit are we together so you are you are contributing to the they are unholy spirits they are demonic spirits but they are human spirits who have refused to subscribe to the way of god tonight i want you to choose the way of the lord choose the way of the lord you are listening to me inside outside online choose the way of the lord there are people following from different nations it doesn't matter your locality choose the way of the lord the way of the lord has equal value in any nation an arm robber in nigeria will still be arrested in america correct a thief in japan is still a thief a wicked person in sudan is still a wicked person in nigeria the same way spirits and their demonic havoc have equal value in every nation the way of god has equal value you obey his principles in nigeria you prosper you obey his principles in london you prosper could it be that some of the untold pain around our lives are products of ignorance lack of an encounter of jesus the way can you pray in one minute and say lord i am ready for an encounter with jesus the way i've made foolish decisions my life is a compendium of confusion one tragedy to the other Are you praying? If I followed the way of the Lord, I wouldn't have sold that land just because I was hungry. Now my family is in total confusion because of a bad decision I made. If I followed Jesus the way, I wouldn't have beaten my wife. If I followed Jesus the way, I would have trained my children properly. Pray. The Lord is giving us direction tonight are you praying because God wants to show us great mercy tonight father show me the way pray 
what is the way out of the confusion i'm in it doesn't matter how you got there now you are there there is a way out oh there is a way out if you don't look for a door every house has a door finding the door is your escape route you can guess what you think is the door you can guess what society tells you is the door pray please be serious how can i call on your name and end up in shame no way no way how can i call on your name and end up in shame no way no way how can i bow down before you and bow to depression no way hey no way because you are my god that's my testimony jesus the way you are my god yeah, yeah, you are hallelujah it says the name of the lord is a strong tower listen carefully the righteous run is a location you follow a path that leads you there and it says if you get there you are saved brothers and sisters let me tell you it is my passion to pray for people i'm going to pray and it's not just about the me there are some of you who are not sick you just need an end most of the problems here i tell you 90 over 80 to 90 percent of the problems here are requirements for an encounter with jesus the way the way the way there is a way to approach life such that you become victorious persistent there is a way to approach life that programs you to fail perpetually there is a way you approach life regardless of the obstacles that come you must be on top is a way which way do you not know what principle i've taught us here it has become an anthem i will burn it until it enters our spirit for every outcome you desire there is a mystery that is allocated for the production of that result people don't just become anointed man of god listen anointing does not just come because you are tired of not being anointed no favor does not just come because you think you're a nigerian everybody who favors you has relatives who he can bless what makes you think that he will leave them and come to you there is a system in the kingdom that realities are allocated the mysteries listen please hear me your ministry will not just grow because you think you are anointed there is a system many people shadow box and guess their lives every time we are challenged we try to apply everything we know okay let's try the blood of jesus it didn't work let's try anointing oil it didn't work let's try this it didn't let's try agreement there is no mystery in the kingdom that is idle except you do not know that that it has been taught in a certain way does that not mean that's the result allocated to it you don't give your life by praying to the holy spirit the Holy Spirit is the one who answers but the system of salvation is resident in the office of the Christ you don't you don't pray to the Holy Spirit although it is the Holy Spirit who comes the system of salvation there is no other name the name that that um, works out the, the salvation of men is Jesus the Christ are we together you don't come to a meeting and pray and hand over the meeting to angels why although they are the ministering spirits but the, the angels of god function as commanded by the saints in partnership with the holy spirit if the holy spirit does not authorize their operation they cannot work so there is a system 
could it be that something we are missing in our life could it be that although the lord declared that this is our year of triumph and for those of you coming for the first time could it be that the cause of hardship in our lives is because we are ignoring something everybody say jesus the way There are many people here looking at me who have become victims. They are good people, but they do not understand God's system of friendship. And so all their friends are bad people. Are we together? And so you find out that your chances of going to prison is 80%, although you are a good man. Because the Bible says, blessed is the man who does not stand in the way of sinners. He's not a sinner, but for standing in their way, you qualify for implication nor sits in the seat of the scornful right he says but his delight is in the law of the lord and on that law he meditated day and night doth he meditate day and night as a result he shall be like a tree watch this that is planted by the riverside all other trees wait for rainy season but this one has found a constant source of supply so it is ever fresh ever fresh How can I call on your name and end up in shame? No, no way. way. No, no way. way. I will not call on your name and end up in shame. No, no way. No way. Listen every situation that brought you here has a way out that you do not know the way does not mean there is no way you know sometimes David Dam said something when he came when I came in he said something that so ministered to me we get used to our challenges we get used to the wilderness that we conclude there is no way out you can wallow in this forest of pain and confusion and conclude that your life has to be like that from begging to begging from pain to pain from beating to beating no as a family you can come together and say no more there's something we are not doing right this way is not age dependent this way is humility dependent you can be 60 years wallowing in the forest of confusion you can be 10 years and find the truth. The Bible says, and ye shall know the truth. We're getting there. But there is a path. There is a path. Number two. Jesus, the truth. Give us again, please. John chapter 14, verse 6. There is Jesus, the truth. He said, I am the truth. Let me tell you what that means. I am the God's opinion on all matters. I am the most valid information that is worth trusting. I am the truth. I am God's perspective on all matters. Listen carefully. Jesus the truth is a description of God's mindset. It's a description of God's perspective. Not just the way now, but an encounter with God's perspective life has a way that they teach you to operate but it says i am god's perspective i do not lie there are all kinds of lying statistics in our generation are we together and god says come to me i have a report too federal this and that international organization for this and that came up with their own statistics about several things but come to me I am the truth I am the truth are we together yes oh one out of every two marriages must end within five years Jesus said that's their statistics come I am the truth there is an information I supply you every the average age range in Africa is 43 Jesus said I am the truth the truth says in old age you will be fat and flourishing fat and flourishing not using your pension to continue living fat and flourishing there are informations that the bible gives 
and tells men you will never make it. We live in a generation of decadence. But let's look at the truth. Psalm 112. 112. First four verses. If I were you and I'm a gentleman here, I will receive it. You're a lady, receive it for it. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his truths. What will be the testimony of that man? Verse 2. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth regardless of all the armed robbers loitering around society his own seed because he has believed an information he said who has believed our report it is to that man that the arm of the lord has been made the arm of the lord does not just come to those who desire it's those who there is a report you must believe the generation of the upright shall be blessed verse 3 wealth and riches not shall be in his environment in his house and then he says and his righteousness endureth forever verse 4 unto the upright there ariseth light in darkness do you know what that means deliverance deliverance a man who stands for truth a man who understands the way of god somebody must arise to bail you out when things go wrong let me tell you do you know rescue is an anointing there is a grace that can come upon you and cause men to arise david was in the cave of adulam they were looking for him saul was looking for him and the bible says certain men came they entered a covenant with themselves and say you must be king not everybody is interested in helping you you can sit down loitering around begging give me a job and somebody has eight options eight options and he looks at you and says it's all right just go but when you understand this, when that truth becomes your shield and buckler, it does something. It compels men to react to you in a certain way. Everyone say, Jesus, the truth. There are many of us here seated now with lies in our bodies. Satan has used objects in our bodies to lie to us. There are medical reports that we are seated here with right now. HIV, cancer, a killer disease somewhere. There are ladies holding reports you will you don't even have a womb in the first place there's no possibility of a child there are men holding reports there's someone oh there's a report you are going to die soon you will not reach december but the bible says whose report will you believe the doctors are doing their best we have doctors here but it's their educated opinion jesus said i am the truth you go to school they teach you to believe certain things but when you come to the word he teaches you i am one minister of the gospel who believes in god when i read my bible i believe and i if i be lifted i will draw all men that's the truth so my job is to lift him up and then he will draw all men that's what he said that's what he said that when men say there is a casting down the truth about it is that you will say there is a lifting up so i expect a lifting up all the time because you see a true believer is a possessor tonight you have come here koinonia is a place where we tell you the truth and shortly the power of god will prove that truth to you that what you call a hopeless situation is only a relative statement when you come before him he can turn your wilderness into a fruitful ground hallelujah everybody say jesus the truth son of man what information do you know about these bones and then leave again and he said lord i i honestly the reality of these bones now i don't know and he says look these bones can live i believe therefore prophesy he said i prophesied as i was commanded the truth is not just an information it's a force it's a force that compels things to look like god no matter what it is The truth is God's mindset. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. Let this mind be in you. 
which was also in Christ Jesus. The truth is that they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. The truth remains true regardless of your experience or otherwise. You see, this is the thing about a believer. Your personal experience is too small to judge the validity of the word of God. If I die of sickness today, God is still a healer. Is that true? The information I'm sharing with you is very ego stinging because when you've tried everything you know to do, have you seen people say, I've done everything I know to do? Or I've done everything there is. No. You just did what you knew to do. But there can be another way. There can be another information. Someone can be trying to open a door. Simply because someone told him turn it once. And he tries, tries. And then another information comes in. Lift it up. Turn it two times. Just because of that little information. That person can stand there two hours. Wrestling with that door. Arise, shine. Your light is come And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you John 1 verse 5, the light shines in darkness Arise, shine, the light is come And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you I will arise and shine Arise, my light is come, and the glory of the Lord, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Give us Isaiah 60 verse 1. If we can get it in Amplified, that's wonderful, otherwise no problem. Amplified says this, it says, Arise from the depression and the prostration that situations and circumstances have kept you. It says, Rise to a new light. Arise from the depression and circumstance and prostration in which circumstances have kept you rise to a new life. Then it says, Shine, be radiant with the glory of God. Let me tell you something. There is an information that when you catch, you can start laughing at your challenges. You will not even pray about it again. It will turn to laughter because you know that that truth will squeeze it into pieces. I tell you this. Hallelujah. Ah. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength, and your sight. The light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright. When Yahweh binds up the wounds of this world, heals all the bruises inflicted by this world. Truth. There are things I found in my life about ministry. There are things I found in my life about the anointing. When I found them, I jumped. Jumped. Bishop Oyedeko will tell you that light broke and he screamed and turned and said, yeah, I will never be poor again. There are other people who have caught certain things and they screamed and said, I will never be a mediocre again. What have you found? I found your word and I did eat it. It was a joy and a rejoicing. He said, my son, eat thou honey. When you find this thing, they are alive to those who find them. Not to Christians. There is something you can find Believe me, brothers and sisters, if you have not found it, you will think those who are talking are arrogant people. There are people who have found things. The Bible says the kingdom of God is like a man who had a treasure and it was missing. For as long as it was missing, that man was redundant and then he took light and then he started checking it. Are we together? Could it be that there is an information that you need to know about God about life about yourself it was gideon who was hiding because there was an information he did not know and all of a sudden the angel appears and says in case you do not know here is an information you are a mighty man of valor and gideon said nobody has told me this i am the least in my father's family and we are the least in the tribe and that man arose from that revelation 
I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. Everybody sing, sing. of Jesus shout it say it again in the name of Jesus the days of ignorance are over in my life prophesy it say the days of ignorance the days of lies the days of deception are over in my life lift your voice and pray in one minute Lord I entertain your light there is something you can know about you that will bring you into the anointing there is something your mother told you growing up. You are a failure. But hear the truth. Hear the truth. There is something Africa is speaking to you. That we are a third world nation. But in the name of Jesus I declare. I believe the truth I believe the truth no more lies in my life everything that is not consistent with the Word of God I refuse to believe it why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal subject to change hallelujah please sit down so they may look at you and say sister you are getting to 40 no husband will you ever marry that's their information you see when you introduce jesus to the situation the calculation changes uh -uh. something that should be zero just because you introduce the reality everything changes the psalmist said i had fainted but god i had fainted i knew that i was over all. But God, when they brought him into the situation, he changed everything. Stop listening to lies. There are lies on TV. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are lies that we hear on newspapers. Oh, stop tithing. All those men of God are out to collect your money. It's with your money they used to buy clothes. And they rob you and you listen to a lie and stay back and authorize Satan to destroy you. Our society is full of lies. People make money through lies. Jesus, the truth. There were many things. I didn't see many successful people in my life growing up. Those who were successful were very far from me. Culturally speaking, societally speaking, there was a mindset that was communicated. But when I began to search the word, goodness, I found another report. A report I was not born with. And all of a sudden, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me. You know, today we took a stroll, um, myself and the head of protocol, after we went to greet a bereaved family, we went somewhere and I was taking them inside the campus and I decided to take a tour of the new structures they are building. And while I started passing some sites around the dam and down my eyes were almost, I was trying to fight tears. Do you know why? Because I saw locations where years ago I sat down to study the truth. I passed one place, a botanical garden on your way to the dam. I used to enter that corner and smuggle myself through somewhere and sit down. Broke, but had access to the truth. A failure and a mediocre, but had access to the truth. And this Bible, God gave me an assurance with the word. If you believe me, I will not play games with you. And I was stupid enough to believe. I said, Lord, 
after all by default I don't even have much so if I don't believe you I don't have any option ah look what is made in my life listen if you choose to believe the truth he will change you they've lied to you that your life is not doing well just because um, there is there is uh, there is something you are not you know you need to go and connect to this you need to do that I believe in favor but favor is only when it comes from God to men not from men if you don't give 150,000 to so 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 person in federal ministry of this you will never get a job that's how we do it you are not part of the we and you find out and the Bible says that when a man's ways pleases the Lord that's the truth that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him are we together listen the part of scripture you find and believe is the part that works for you you can see two people operating on different dimensions of realities is the part you find I have found from this word listen and I don't want you to be offended by what I'm saying but I found from this word that it is possible for a man to fulfill his days I found it I used to fear death I think it's one of the things we all fear because the teaching I got about death was that any day can meet you anytime and it looked like a very sincere talk until I searched I said God but how can I live my entire life being afraid I'm going to live a life traveling all the time right I'm in the air I'm on road in the morning in the afternoon there are armed robbers weather conditions what is the guarantee that I'm going I mean I can't live my life I'm going for a crusade somewhere and I'm afraid I want to go and heal the sick cast out demons but me the man of God that God will use you are now afraid whether you arrive safely as soon as you arrive your heart returns back and you are like, hey, thank you Jesus what is torturous way of living but there is a truth ha ah. There is something you can hold and dear death you look at it in the face and say oh death where is thy sting now you see until you have caught that truth don't make mouth this is the problem we talk nonsense in church and say all kinds of things and become victims it is the encounter of the burning bush that qualifies you to stand before pharaoh when you have seen the burning bush you can stand before pharaoh and say hey pharaoh stop oppressing god's people because Pharaoh will not let you go just because you can speak English. Jesus, the truth. Let me tell you something. Life will dare you to your face. It will take the truth to build a world of fortification. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe the word of God. That's why we are gathered here tonight. This is called a miracle service. There is no guarantee anywhere that anybody will be healed. There is no guarantee anywhere that devils will be casted out. Let me tell you, without understanding the truth, any action you take is arrogance. You make a fool out of yourself. What is the guarantee that in the next few minutes, the Lord is going to step in and begin to produce miracles in the lives of people? Is the truth. As at morning, when they were fixing this place, what was the guarantee that people were going to come and all the seats will be filled? What was the guarantee that people will be following us from over 45 nations of the world? Is the truth. There is an information you know. The power of God. That I believe you, oh God, and I'm ready to follow. You will not lie to me. I believe you. You are not a man that you should lie. Not the son of man. I don't doubt him. I believe you. My experiences notwithstanding, I still believe you. Number three, Jesus, the life. Hmm. A revelation of his power and his ability to make a life. Jesus, the life. John 11 verse 25 to 26. An event happened there, Lazarus was a man who had died three days and then Jesus said he sleepeth and they were going to go and resurrect him 
and when they went they saw his sisters crying now this was talking about physical death but it applies to every area watch this death does not just mean cessation of breathing it means cessation of life many of us are experiencing death in different areas of our lives when an organ fails that's death are we together the sons of the prophet were eating a meal and they looked and said ah there is death in this food and jesus said to her i am what what is resurrection bringing back to life something that is not supposed to have life again hallelujah that for me is the definition of hope 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 bringing back to life a dream that should not come alive again bringing back to life a destiny that should not come alive i live my life drinking and smoking is there hope for me jesus is called the resurrection i should have done well with my life but i'm 70 years now how many more years do i have when the resurrection comes he can bring back to life are we together I should have been a PhD holder now but so 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 and so happened to me when the resurrection comes listen to me Jesus has the power to make things that are dead in our lives come alive this is good news are we together so the Bible says rejoice not over me my enemies you know my fall but you have forgotten that there is a mystery of resurrection rejoice not over me yes I know for now I do not have a job I lost my job yes I know that this and that may have happened in my life but there is Jesus the life he can put life back he can put life back let me show you something the Bible says very interesting well let's finish it I am the resurrection and the life he that believed in me although his kidney were dead he can come alive he that believed on me although his finances were dead he can come alive do you know that hopelessness is is one of the major causes of depression in our society you know what hopelessness is a perception that there is no press to anything that is worth producing any result again and people just give up society is full of angry people who just walk around and say look there's no hope no hope for this child no hope for this no hope for me again no i'm already past menopause no child let me just agree that i will never have a child in my life listen to what the bible says job chapter 14 please give it to us seven to nine job chapter 14 read it with me please one to read for there is hope for a tree for there is hope for joshua selman for there is hope for any life are you hearing what i'm saying for there is hope in spite of that medical report humanly speaking you should put your house in order ask hezekiah when a true prophet came and said hezekiah i've heard from god when a man hears from god who else do you consult but hezekiah said no way I know this mystery there is resurrection there is life there is hope he turned his face and said god let's talk i know isaiah is your prophet but i'm your child too let's talk remember now come on god don't act as if you ignore me like that and god said ah, 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 ah. he has compelled a dimension listen let me tell you tonight you have to insist for some things to come back to life don't go some of you don't even pray over some things again because in your mind you have concluded it's over that business will never come alive let you just give glory to god it's over it has gone that destiny will never come alive but it's okay i already know that i would never walk again my leg can't work so my focus now is to just succeed i am the resurrection and the life it says for there is hope for a tree if it be what cut down i like that word cut down not rooted out cut down means the root is still connected the mistake the enemy made was to still leave you loving god i i, 
I know you lost you lost joy you lost peace you made a mistake I know you now have a baby it should not be but the mistake was that you were cut down not rooted out and the Bible says that it will what sprout again talk to me agriculturists that you know that you can cut a tree and children can even put satellite dish on the tree yet it still starts growing have you seen a tree that they use for pole wire it doesn't stop the tree from growing I hear the joy coming hey I hear the breakthrough coming I hear the sound coming sound of abundance and joy I see the lifting coming hey. hold on listen I tell you that the, the anointing of God is strong upon me sit down sit down sit down give us that scripture again give us that scripture because God wants to make a statement with this miracle service tonight he says for there is hope everybody say there is hope let the devil hear you let all the people who have sat down together in a meeting and say will she ever rise with this carryover with 11 carryovers will you ever rise the bible says there is hope for a tree there is hope for a tree it says that it will sprout again and that the tender branch will not cease we're reading to verse 9 though the root thereof be wax old in the earth and the stalk thereof die in the ground verse 9 yet hold on he didn't say through the arrival of water the scent proximity to life proximity to life the moment you come into a place where there is life it has not touched you yet your roots resonating with life listen listen those of you who have done physics there's something they call resonance is that true that when you use a tuning fork and hit at a frequency every other object within that frequency answers to it you were designed by the life-giving spirit so when satan tries to bring death and then you are seated somewhere you come into an environment where there's life deep starts calling on to deep your dream starts telling you i'm ready to come back to life forget the fact that i failed rejoice not over me my enemy we live in a society who are experts at burying people before they die ah look at this mama nine children all useless and she's coming for koinonia and they say keep going mama tonight the resurrection and the life the resurrection and the life hear me how about a man of god you know god called you you know he anointed you but truly you have not seen increase not in your life oh god where will the anointing come or maybe you were once anointed and something happened in your life and things went down and listen it is true that jesus died but did he die forever he died only for three days while he had resurrected men were still talking about his death could it be hold on could it be that some of you while you are in this meeting now other people are talking about your past life they don't know resurrection is happening they are still sitting discussing yesterday so every time they look at her they say i know this lady oh this lady is the most nonsense lady in our environment you were right but ask rahab shabbatos kotabriata hmm. listen do you know why god instructed that they killed everybody in jericho he did not want anyone who knew rahab's past to be part of those who follow her because she would be part of the lineage of jesus listen when god wants to make nonsense of satan he will keep quiet and allow men finish tearing you down sometimes you can even join them and tear yourself and then when he's done he says let me now show you the expertise let me show you what makes me god and he starts building many people conclude on men 
because they don't know God this God we serve are we together I always use promises promise come 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 with all my heart you would have concluded this guy was a capon in black acts are we together years ago with dreadlocks he came to Zaria with dreadlocks and earrings he was an occultist of the highest order a territorial commander he ran away because they were about to imprison him but brothers and sisters rejoice not over me my enemy no 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 help them under the anointing please you would have concluded that this brother will never become a because our big mouth in society we are experts at talking about people but while they were talking about Saul God was seen Paul ah. apostle but I don't even know who my father is I'm not sure they told me that fair woman is my mother that's the kind of background I came from don't worry the God of Israel is an expert look at his life now a fiery man of God with grace and power and anointing hallelujah they had concluded on Zacchaeus you are a thief you are a fraudster you are an armed robber and when God was going he had to climb the tree and God said come down Zacchaeus it's your house I'm going let me show you that I'm, I'm going to your house and at once Zacchaeus said I will repay everybody and Zacchaeus completely changed hear me I came to preach to someone tonight there is a dimension of Jesus called Jesus the life the life the life Jesus the life Jesus the life Jesus the life, Jesus the life. that everything that has died in a man's life can come alive even time can come alive that's the God that we serve hear me you have come tonight some of us from far some of us from several things and you have come to encounter Jesus the life the life giving spirit he can put life back to your finances and the money you lost 10 years combined in one month can return to you listen 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 please let's not make this thing look as if we are acting we're talking about god here apostle but this is 10 years no child and they told me that there are all kinds of cyst and growth in my stomach and then when the resurrection comes he all of a sudden first child triplets second child twins you say god stop he says stop what my name again that child one three two one registers his name the years that the canker worm has eaten hear me hear me mordecai mordecai did something that was good and he was his testimony was archived in a book and dropped quietly you see ba there is a day god gets angry and vows by his name i have seen this truly speaking that god vows a vow read it through scripture that he wants to lift a man when god vows a vow to lift a man i tell you not even your personal faith will stop you there is such a thing that god can say the appointed time is come i've seen people lifted overnight and frankly speaking sometimes they've not even understood certain principles god just vowed with his name tonight i want your faith to be please look listen you have come before god this is not a cinema to watch film you have come with your heart open i want you to insist tonight all these three dimensions are dimensions that for a taking but i perceive that one of the greatest dimensions we need is life there is too much death there is too much death in people's life dead organs hold on listen there are people here they can't walk 10 minutes a young man 
25, 35. You walk 10 minutes, you breathe as if you would die. They go to the hospital and say, Mr. Man, almost everything we see is wrong. You need life, oh. You need life. There are many ladies here with all kinds of lumps, all kinds of demonic things. Satan attempting to put another life because there are many kinds of life. But when his life comes, when his life comes, there are destinies you look at them like walking corpses. You know everything is there. No favor, no open doors. There are many men here you are hard working, but there is no life. You are just a body walking, sweating, toiling the course of hardship from morning till night, living from hand to mouth. The key is not promotion, the key is life. Life. To draw from you again. Hey, hey. To drink from you again. Hey, hey, hey. To drink from you again. Hey, hey, hey. We've come to the road. working out the same tonight i insist lift your voice and pray lord i can't go back the way i came i place a demand a demand on your anointing Prayer point number two Change my level, oh God Change the dimensions Take me to another level Please let me have your attention. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a lot to do tonight. 
We're going to do it in this order. I'm going to take the altar call now. And then tonight we're going to start with the sick. I just sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing. Hallelujah. Now, quickly, let me have your attention. My God, the power of God is so strong, so strong. I already see activities of angels. You are in this place, inside, outside, any of the overflows. One, two, three, four by the roadside. I told you that the cure for the challenges of men is an encounter with Jesus. And there are people here, some of you may be visiting for the first time, but you know that you need Jesus genuinely. Not just as a religious philosophy, you truly need Jesus Christ. Some of you at one point, you handed your life over to him, but things went haywire. And right now you know that you need to run like there's fire on the mountain. Overflow one, overflow two. I'm going to count one to five. Please clear the way for them. I want you to run as though you are thirsty and they told you where water is. Leave your seat right now and run. Whether you are inside or outside. I'll count one to five. Keep standing. One. Koinonia, celebrate them. Two. Are you running? Run to Jesus. Lord, I'm tired of my life. Tired of the way things have been. I can't pretend it. I'm running to you now. Three. Celebrate them. Are you running? Leave your seat. Break your pride and run. I need Jesus in my life. I need Jesus in my life. This is a, a matter of urgency. This is no pretense. This is no church. I need Jesus in my life. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. Run. No turning back. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back, no turning back. One more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. in overflow three there and the holy spirit is telling me they are supposed to be part of these people overflow three please quickly there's so much to do there are three people i'm seeing in overflow three outside and the lord is telling me they should be there don't allow your friends stop you i'm still going to give one more minute one more minute as the holy spirit is convicting you you're saying i want to come but i'm a bit shy run make your way quickly come and join us come and join us hallelujah look at me please let them come and join those of you in front please look at me i salute you this is serious business here please there's there's nothing to be ashamed of hold on hold on now you see when most people give their lives to christ they come in emotionally and some are not even serious they come laughing pinching themselves lord jesus and they are laughing and not serious this jesus business is life we're not talking about a certificate we're not talking about a husband or wife the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower please hear me as you are here make sure that your decision is genuine no one condemns you but i want you to mean it please don't don't play games with god this is the god of heaven i want you to say this from the depth of your heart all of you in front here and those joining quickly if you are joining them make your way to the front say this passionately and truly say lord jesus say it again lord jesus 
some of you are not saying it say it one more time lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for my sin i believe that you resurrected for me this night i have heard your word and i declare that i need you in my life i hand over my life to you from now and forever i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that from today i am a child of god satan you had my confession stay away from my life forever in the name of jesus let me pray for you now jesus we present to you the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and they were worth your blood your tears and your death i ask oh god by the power of your spirit that you preserve them let this not be an emotional decision i pray sincerely that today will become the beginning of a new season of your grace your power your mercy upon their lives i declare your sins forgiven i declare and declare that from today you walk in newness of life i set you free from everything that holds you down in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i congratulate all of you for making this most noble decision never forget this day never forget this day hallelujah praise god now i will ask you to do something very quickly and then you come back and join the service i want you to follow who is waving his hands follow that gentleman waving his hands and they will lead you out and there are a number of people who will welcome you have your details please cooperate with them and uh, all the people attending to them let's make it fast so that they can return back please politely follow them they'll ask for your details cooperate with them everyone this way let's honor them as they go very quickly hallelujah can we help them let's make it fast now we're going to do it this way um i'm going to start praying for the sick right right away we're going to pray for the sick now so that we can take out time um let's deal with the sick first i already sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing lady look at me the lord is asking me to stretch my hands i command that devil let her go now you had her confession i curse you by the god of heaven i released you now i'm seeing this lady tied snakes from her leg to her head i set you free this is koinonia the place of encounter i decree and declare that from today you are set free and there's something i'm seeing in your stomach i decree and declare that it leaves you right now in the name of jesus christ now we are going to pray uh there are certain cases I want to deal with by myself tonight. Um, any case, please listen. Any case, whether you are in any of the overflows, please. I will pray for people. Overflow one, I want you to march to your overflow. Those who are trusting God, you came here with for yourself or for your loved ones. Um, but let's do it this way. All those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, if you have an issue with barrenness or a blood related disease hiv cancer or any deadly disease whether you are in the overflow outside or what please come in and i want to minister to you myself hallelujah that doesn't mean please listen listen it doesn't mean if i'm not the one ministering to you you will not be blessed the anointing on me is upon everyone who will be standing to minister to you are we together now so let's not have a rowdy um a crowd there so overflow one i like all of you who are trusting god to be prayed for please i want you to move to your projector stands overflow two um overflow three those online connect by faith and um, we're going to be praying for you those inside make your way very quickly the special cases that i ask make your way quickly quickly please we have to be very fast there's a lot to do the reason why we take our time to minister to people like this is because god has anointed us for this reason hallelujah 
God has anointed us. It's a privilege to carry his anointing. And we must take our time to release blessings to God's people. Make your way quickly. Look how many people need the touch of God. What a joy and a blessing to have the anointing and the ability to touch people. Can we all pray as a family whilst they are coming and ask the Lord to touch and heal and bless everyone. Lift your voice and pray. Everyone, lift your voice. Lift your voice, pray. It's a miracle service. Please, those that are coming in from outside, make sure it's only blood-related diseases, terminal diseases, terminal diseases. Otherwise, you can just wait at your projector stand and then they'll pray for you. Father, you have anointed them. You have anointed us in this place. You have anointed this house to be a tabernacle of miracles. Lord, you have produced untold testimonies. It's a privilege to be extensions of your hand again, ministering to the needs of your people. It is your desire that in every territory, there must be a place where men and women can find the power of God at work. And Lord, thank you for making this such a place. Tonight we pray that there will be abundance, abundance of your anointing in the name of Jesus. Tonight is serious business. I really perceive that there is need to minister to people. We are going to have um, some of our leaders stationed in various places. Please, I want you to trust the anointing upon them as they come to minister. I'm going to just make contact with them. Um, there will at least be two, two at different, different points and then we are going to pray praise the lord we'll make it very very fast and trust god to minister to you please come um pastor femi Ejimi, pastor alpha west benga promise how many of you i think we need eight people i have to lay hands on you because i sense that we need we need a, a great one two three four five uh, michael come one of these days we'll begin to train other people and help the, the idea is to help and build people um, might leave the keyboard um, someone else can play the keyboard you can come this is an opportunity we're going to lay hands and then we're going to trust God um, Shade will you be strong come she's always had the healing anointing you have the strength please come this lady you see it's a compendium of the healing power of God and um, so we're going to pray I think this is okay we're going to pray please those outside if if they don't ask you uh, if they are prophesying to you it's a different thing if they are giving you a word of knowledge it's all right otherwise you don't have to start talking talking and doing all of this Lord we agree right now in Jesus name my God there's such anointing on my hands as they lay hands on the people Lord I decree and declare let your power flow in such dimension in such magnitude in the name of Jesus Christ let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit let the fire of God come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that you will carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit um, Shade and promise will go to the overflow outside here by the road Shade and promise Benga and um, Femi this overflow and then Mike and Pastor Alpha will be at the overflow, overflow three now. Um, Ejimi will be with me here. Pastor Alpha. Um, huh? Okay, two of you are there. Okay, fine. Who is left? Michael. Okay, then join them outside this overflow here. And then we'll walk with Ejimi inside here. Praise the Lord. Lord, we decree and declare, let there be miracles right now. Let there be signs, let there be wonders. In the name of Jesus, let there be such a strong move of the Spirit. Let the sick be healed. While this is happening, please, um, I want you, if you need to make calls and ask your loved ones to submit their prayer requests, let's do that very quickly. We're trying to conserve time as well as maximize the grace that is available. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we'll pray for you now. I want you to trust God for miracles. Trust God for miracles. Insist.
that God must give you a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, I believe. Jesus, there is healing in your name as we worship. We worship in your presence. There is healing. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gentle is flowing. It's flowing. Jesus. Jesus. I believe. I believe. Jesus. There is healing. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle, gentle touch, touch is flowing. It's flowing. Jesus, Jesus, I believe. I believe. Jesus, Jesus, there is healing in your name. There is healing in your name. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, gentle touch is blowing in this place. That will go back with you please believe this night there are strange spirits that are responsible for the sufferings you see this dear lady this lady came all the way from lagos had to resign her job to come here because she was tired of what was happening in her life it's not just about employment came here this lady came i think it was last week all the way because she was nothing at all she was employed but oppression after oppression 
there's somebody in the congregation i'm i'm seeing like uh, the lord is opening my eyes this is strange and i don't know what it is that i'm seeing that has to do with elephants i'm seeing an elephant and i'm seeing like fire coming this is a deliverance for someone in the congregation now as i'm talking um i'm praying for the sick but we're going to minister to other needs but right now the lord is asking me to minister to such a person so i'm declaring right now that every manipulation of spirits that resonates with what the lord showed me right now from here i decree and declare there is no peace for the wicked i command judgment right now in the name of jesus christ on such a person wherever you are in this congregation i decree and declare right now that the power of god touches you right where you are right where you are right where you are in the name of jesus right where you are right where you are in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone at the minister stand the minister stand i'm seeing something like an arrow shooting out of your body lord in the name of jesus whoever that person is it must go now i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit every strange devil every strange spirit we decree and declare that this environment is completely not conducive completely not conducive in the name of jesus i want you to look at this look at look at what look at what the devil can do this is a human being's face mama come madam is this our mother Mommy, come. how long has this been this is one year now a year one plus year. a year plus yes her face just started swelling started bleeding from the nose and before you know it's her, one of her this her eyes i out. prayed for her the last time yes you see it going down yes I see it you going see down. it from the last yes. time who was there when you saw yes. the last time it's going down you see it going down now yes. i prophesy that in the name of jesus christ right now that the way this thing has started going down it must go down normally and then mama any human agent that is responsible for this thing happening are we together? If I am a man of God, that person must die this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I'm looking at you. Hold on. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the face of a woman. And I'm seeing a woman sitting on the ground. On ground like enchantment. I say it again. Whoever is responsible for terminating, attempting to terminate the destiny of this lady, by the God of heaven, may the ground open and swallow her now. God bless you. See, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Wickedness is very, very real. Very real. Very, very real. Very, very real. I want you to lift your voice in one minute and say, Father, judgment tonight. Pray! Lift your voice. Shabakato soto bakata. Lembre kete kata tata tata. sepe keriata. Everything that must give way for the next level of my destiny to be open, I command it so. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, pray inside, pray outside. Pray by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Pray. Shaka toko 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 kes. Rekete kete kata bara 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 bas. Mata kato shepre kete. Lente pre kete basha bara 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 bas. Leke ta pros kata bara nda kapras kata bara tos. Are you praying? Make sure you are praying. Let her go now. Out! 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 I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. I see the rain of your love 
I feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it rain really going to pray seriously right now um, I've been seeing a lot of visions while praying for the sick hallelujah there are, there are many many demons that must go many not few many oppressed all kinds of um, strange strange demons bring this girl come bring her I'm seeing a spirit bring her let her go now Victory belongs to Jesus. Listen, hear me. Now, we are going to pray serious. That's why I took out time to maximize the healing anointing because um, we want to finish fast. We have leaders meeting. However, um, now that we have dropped this, please just focus. You have prayed now. Let me minister to you. Praise God. Stand up, please, everybody. We have to pray. These are the wicked spirits that are responsible for families families tonight i see an uprooting i tell you listen i want you to stand because i'm seeing people running out now by the spirit not like wanting to run away the spirit running with them that's why i'm saying i'm i'm asking the people to stand we are going to pray please listen i want you to believe the forces that tie your life tie your destiny it's time for us to pray it's time for us to agree are we together i want you to cooperate with me and let's pray they are strange spirits you will bring them out some don't be embarrassed this this has to do with families this has to do with individuals are we together now are we together yes we are going to pray i'm seeing like a ghana must go and i'm seeing it tied in the spirit whose destiny is that oh god it's time to be loose now bring them out Please, I need strings, strings of a flowing sound, please. Bring them out. Shake it, take it up. Braka doso toba shata. At his word, every demon, every devil. There's no hiding place for any power of darkness. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. Bracato shoto preketeli abada. Hallelujah. Please hold your hands together. I want to pray a prayer. You are going to help your neighbor now. Something strange is going to happen to people. I want to pray because I'm seeing like fire passing from people to people. This this contact must be maximum. Lord, I pray. Anyone who is a victim of any oppression, as this fire passes now, in the name of Jesus. Once you see your neighbor manifesting, please let them come. In the name of Jesus, I release that fire right now. From road to road, from people to people, from road to road, inside, outside. I command every stranger, every stranger, every stranger, in the name of Jesus, every stranger, outside, overflow one. Overflow two, overflow three, online. I cast that devil right now. That fire is burning. That fire is burning. Every principality, every power. Shaka ta 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 ta. Outside, mighty deliverances. Outside, from road to road, the power of God is setting people free. It's time for yokes of captivity to give way. It's time for age long captivities to give way. Haroto Sose Sesia Tata Rakatos Kabaria Dabala Koto Shubia. Hallelujah. Everyone, say after me in the name of Jesus. 
Just do what I'm telling you to do. Say in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of delay over my life, over my family, be judged now. Now watch what happens to you. I decree and declare anyone with such yoke, I command judgment now. Judgment now, now on those forces. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Please lift your hands. Tonight I trust God for an extensive time of deliverance. Listen, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing snakes. This is what I'm seeing coming out from holes. Anyone here tied by any spirit, they come to you in the night to sleep with you. Fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now. Visitors of the night, strangers of men's destinies, I judge you by the God of heaven. Inside and outside, I judge you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Please put your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very serious prayer right now. Sisters, lift your hands. If there is anyone here having any spirit molest you in dreams, appearing as men, appearing as women, appearing as animals, at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, Jesus the life is destroying any dead. Are you ready? One, two, three. I command those devils, those strangers, strangers, powers of witchcraft, molesting people, the daughters of Zion, I curse you, I curse your covenant. Every high thing must come down, every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown, you overcome, you overcome. So, every high thing must come down, every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown, you overcome, you overcome. Hallelujah. I saw what I'm seeing now in much miracle service and the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands I'm seeing padlocks that's what I'm seeing this is representing men's destinies nothing is happening in your life you are not lazy but doors have refused to open right now at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus as loud as you can some of you will literally be caught up in visions and you will see the doors of your destinies open Right now, oh God, I declare that every padlock over any man's destiny, over any man's life, at the count of three, they are open. One, two, three. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Destiny. Open up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to take away the spirit of death over families. Listen. You may not even know, but I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I'm speaking now. Death is a spirit. Oh, death, where is your sting? Right now. I'm seeing at least 47 
I'm seeing the number 47. Every family with death hanging over them. Fire, 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 fire upon every family. Fire, fire, the spirit of death broken. Hallelujah. Can I pass through the crowd for a moment? I want God to do a quick walk. Please listen. I don't do these things out of religion. It is the presence of God. The presence of God. I don't have time and there's no opportunity to lay hands on anyone. But listen. I just come across your role. I just want you to believe. Listen, except it is not the spirit of God, but any other strange spirit aside from God, regardless of what it is and what is causing in your life, it must give way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, just play me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to believe. This is not about human worship, but as I pass your road, I'm seeing fire on my left and right. Tonight is the ministry of fire, and like a wildfire, it will pass you and begin to consume things. Some of you, as I pass that physical fire, that heat, Lord, let it be right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Rakoto Shoprekete Baratokosia, Rakato Totoketata. Rakato Shabariakata. Take it here. That fire, fire. Judging everything. Judging every evil. From every row, row to row. Row to row, row to row. That fire right now. Every witchcraft, every power. Every witchcraft, every power. Tying anyone. Someone's womb is being loose now. Someone's womb is being loose. Someone's womb is being loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I go out? Is it, is it possible? Those outside, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Please quickly, we're out of time. We have to conserve time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, all of you right here, through this place, I'm looking and I'm seeing change in the spirit. And as I pass this overflow, please, I want you to believe that every captivity must come to end. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It must come to end. Father, I give you all the praise right now. Right now. A chain is leaving somebody here. A chain, a chain, a chain, a chain. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Chains, 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 chains. I break it now. Break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it. In the name of Jesus. You don't have to touch me. Just be. There's somebody here. The yoke of delay is breaking now, now. Now, now it's breaking now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking now, break now, breaking now, breaking now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, breaking now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a cloud to this place. I release that fire. Breaking now, right, right, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, help them, help them, please hold them. Break.
Aleluya. I'm hearing a name. Is it Elisha? Elisha. 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 Who is that? Elisha. Where are you coming from? Maybe you. Maybe you hear. I want to pray for you. The Lord wants to give you and your family breakthrough. Elisha, I wish we had time, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring. What's your name? My daddy's name is Elisha. Your daddy's name is Elisha. That's all right. I'll pray for you. Why are you here? You are Elisha. Look at me. I want you to believe in the prayer I'm going to pray for you. God is going to give you strength in your peace. Amen. I'm seen like a shrine on fire. Hold on. I'm seen like a shrine on fire. And that fire in that shrine will manifest physically over somebody's life. It's time for this family to be set free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's time to be set free. It's time to be set free. Elisha, I pray for you. Now hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare something is leaving you now. As I'm holding your hands, I'm seeing something leaving you. Let it go for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your dad needs breakthrough. I decree and declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. Please, if we can get some of the people outside, make sure everyone is protected under the canopy. Otherwise, let's see how we can squeeze some of them inside. Even if it's just for the sake of... Um, when the rain minimizes, they can go out. Please, make sure nobody is standing in the rain. Those standing at the edges of the canopies, we can allow them to come in. Just come and squeeze them somewhere, please. Make sure, no, especially women with children. Please. Please, make sure that we allow them, please. They can come just stand anywhere the goal is us please just give them room just orderly they can come in and stand anywhere recurrent issues the lord is addressing them now our time is gone but i'm praying recurrent issues the power of god is going to fall on people now i don't know how those outside will do but i pray for grace for them but I'm seeing a grace to destroy recurrent issues. Issues that come, you solve them and they come back again. Where are those people? I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus. That fire is visiting them now. Recurrent issues. The Lord is setting people free right now. Recurrent issues. Please help this, this woman. Recurrent issues. That devil is going right now. In the name of Jesus. Recurrent issues. Recurrent issues. Never again. In the name of Jesus. Never again. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Please, I know it's raining, but participate. God is touching people. I'm seeing it again. Recurrent issues. Issues that come and you think you are done with. And they return back. I decree and declare that fire is coming now. That fire is coming now. Recurrent issues in the name of Jesus. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Hallelujah. Toy. Toy. What's your name? My son name is Tony. Tony. 
I will pray for you. I'm seeing serious witchcraft in this lady's family. This is this is heavy satanic oppression. Huh? Heavy satanic oppression. All of you are toying. What's your name? My auntie. Who? My auntie's name is Toy. I will pray for you. Please make sure you are toying. Don't come out carelessly, but hold my hands. I will pray for you. I will use you as a point of contact to pray for your family. Hold my hands with both of your hands. Your family must be free from witchcraft. Lord Jesus. Ah. Fire. Fire. On every altar. Fire. On every altar of witchcraft. I command. I use as a point of contact. And pray for every family under the yoke of darkness under the yoke of bondage I command your emancipation now I command your emancipation every family under the yoke of darkness Are you towing? My huh? You have bad luck. Bad luck on your life. Very bad luck. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, this is a miracle service. Set this lady free. This yoke of bad luck. I decree and declare that it must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It must leave you right now. Your sister. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. The same way God is touching her, may God touch you too. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, you are doing My auntie. Where is she? What is this for? This is my family. My mom left my dad some couple of years ago and became a Hold the photo. You believe that when I pray for you, God will touch them. Lord, visit this family right now. In the name of Jesus, I release the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, through you, let it touch your family. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out. Why, why is she out? Why are you out, my dear? Huh? My sister is there. Okay, I will lay my hands on you. Be free. Your, your mother. Your mother. Something is leaving your mother. In the name of Jesus. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus. Kai. What is this? Look at I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. I'm seeing a snake. Please just thank God it's raining. If you are inside, don't complain. Those outside are enduring the rain. Just keep quiet and allow God to visit you. Snakes. I saw a snake from this lady and I'm still seeing snakes around. There's no hiding place for darkness. I'm seeing snakes. Lord, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside, let there be deliverances. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost. This lady, come. This one with the no. Come. God is going to use you mightily. Lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a, a lady that God is going to use mightily. That doesn't mean after service you come and start disturbing her. God is going to use you. Father, let that grace, that fire, this lady is going to be mightily used of God. I decree and declare. I don't know you, but I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you must be free. I declare, don't worry, deliver. 
in the name of Jesus Christ every access given to you by darkness I close it now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I close it now right now in the name of Jesus I close it right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I close it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I release that fire and that power there is no hiding for any darkness release every breakthrough release every destiny in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hold on I'm hearing Maimuna 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 I don't know if he's here or outside or someone your love Maimuna huh? is what your step okay Maimuna I'm seeing something else. I will pray for you. Memuna. The Lord is showing me something else. Your name is Memuna. My younger sister. My younger sister. Okay. I lay my hands on you. Look at me. You are not progressing. Hold my hands. The Lord wants to move you forward. This is not even in the name of Jesus. I release you to move forward right now. I command that you move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord gives you visitations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. I lose you to prosper and I lose your family to prosper. You came out to stand for someone, but you are the one God is giving the visitation. I decree and declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit you won't believe what I'm about to pray for I'm seeing written in the air forgetfulness there is a strange spirit that comes upon men and causes them to forget things right now in the name of Jesus Christ if you are here whether it is memory loss or strange forgetfulness the things you should do, you forget them and you pay the price. Wherever you are, I release you from it right now. I release you from it right now. I release you right to the back, outside, all the overflows. Anyone who has that manifestation in their lives, I release them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. I release them right now. I release them from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. Why is he here? Why are you here, sir? Uh, my cousin. Is what? My cousin. We were here last week, but he didn't come today. Your what? My cousin, Tony. Tony. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God touch them. Whatever their issues, I declare that God will resolve it right now. In Jesus' name. I'm seeing somebody I need to pray for. Physical money disappears sometimes from your pocket sometimes from your bag i'm not talking of stealing listen to what i'm saying don't just come out carelessly Fis money you can hold money like this and count it and see that it is less it has disappeared who is that i need to pray for you it's a very serious issue yeah na 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 you hallelujah Hi. the Lord is showing me something very serious there's somebody um, don't be embarrassed you woke up physically in the middle of the night and now I'm not saying you idolize animals but there was a rat a physical rat not running around you were looking at it it was looking at you like this there's someone like that here rat it was looking at you you were wave your hands let me know you are the one I'm talking to come out come and stand here I'm not saying if you have rats in your rooms that's not what i'm this this is a special unique demonic case come Kai. this lady i have to pray for you favor zero breakthrough zero trouble hundred percent father in the name of jesus change this face i'm seeing 
in the name of Jesus zekata tata suzia mante pros kata prande katodia kata shakas kende kos akras kate zeketons kamatan zekata reketo sekete kete kata bakata mam prato soto bere kete riakata shasesesesekata mam prato soto topaka embriata sada siata shakel kata maskada bariakato embre kete 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 rekos kososo pekete rekata mebriata sise kotosho bariakata break the chains break the chains break the chains break the chains in the name of jesus hallelujah there is somebody your grandmother appears to you your grandmother appears to you where is that person come don't be embarrassed this is a serious issue our time is gone but thank god is raining we are going to round up your grandmother you see your grandmother she appears who is that wave your hands come and stand here it's a very demonic thing your grandmother appears to you come and stand grandmother appears to you who is that wave your hands let me know you are here all of you that see your grandmother come and stand here we have to break you from that demonic thing what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness this lagos lady god is on your case because you need to be thoroughly thoroughly delivered there is a spirit that is oppressing you and there's no hiding place you hallucinate this lady literally sees things she can be here physically it's you know what they call astral travel she can leave not vision leave physically this lady i command that wicked spirit in the name of jesus and whatever she sees about you except you are powerful it must happen it's a spirit she doesn't even know why in the name of jesus i'm looking at her and i'm seeing a cat i curse you by the god of heaven in the name of jesus christ please don't be tired i know our time is gone but it's raining let, let let's just visit these things because come you are a beautiful girl but no favor in your life shift let me talk to this this yellow girl come run god wants to wipe your tears ah i'm looking at you and i'm seeing something like a crown on your head come you must be delivered thoroughly father in the name of jesus christ let this cause of disfavor this is a beautiful girl but there's no favor in her life Shato soto bakata. Randa koto soto kete barakata. I decree and declare every legal access of darkness. I curse it right now. I curse it right now. I open the doors. I open the doors from the realm of the spirit. Let there be favor over your life. In Jesus' name, hold on, sir. I need to pray for you. This encounter, supposed encounters, has retrogressed your life. I you hear what I'm saying. I have to pray for you because you are not supposed to be at this level right now. You too. You see your grandmother. Where are you from? Calabar? No. Obudu. Obudu. Cross River. Obudu. Cross River. I have to pray for you. Please, if I, if I didn't call, why are you here? Do you, you know why you are here? Huh? You see your grandmother. Kai. There's somebody here. Hold on. All of you see your grandmothers. Don't laugh. You see, let me tell you, this is not some, it's not mockery. It's not, I'm not saying every vision of grandmother is demonic. Please don't get me wrong. These are very special, strange, wicked, and demonic issues. Special, strange, wicked, and demonic issues. Someone has fallen down there. Please let the doctors attend to the person. Make sure you are your brother's keeper so that they don't fall down and injure themselves. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hi, you come what business do you have to do with dead people dead people eh? hold my hands say in Jesus name say it seriously in Jesus name every affiliation with the dead I curse it now I release an anointing upon you now everything you have to do with dead people in Jesus name 
Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Huh? Mm -mm. You are not serious with Jesus. Hold my hands. How are you? Don't be embarrassed, but um, the first thing you need is your relationship. I'm looking at you. I can't, I don't want to embarrass you, but you need Jesus seriously. I love you, eh? That's why I'm helping you. I love you with all my heart. Go and meet the who? Um, where's Pastor Alpha? Just meet him. He will talk with you. You need counseling. He's, he own is not just grandmother. God just brought you out here to in your destiny is needed. Please go and see. He will talk to you. Now, all of you who are having these issues, I'm going to lay my hands on you now. When I lay my hands on you, I want you to believe. There is this strange guy. I'm seeing somebody, someone appears to you in the night. And when he appears to you, please don't come out at random. As soon as he appears to you, your spirit literally starts leaving your body. Literally, as in you feel yourself, you will come out and you will see you again lying down on the bed. There's somebody with that case, that situation right now. I have to pray for that person right now. I have to pray for that person right now something comes pulls your spirit out like it's going i will lay my hands on you all of you are so many father every affiliation with darkness i'm going to lay my hands on all of you very fast sir i'm i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the spirit of poverty and lack serious poverty yes sir eh? yes sir nothing works yes, your sir. life is like a basket anything that enters goes out i'm not embarrassing you eh? you are saying the money truth. leaves your hand even if they give you one million it must find a way of going yes, yes, sir. You are man, but money does not stay yes sir is that true yes sir do you tight yes sir. you are not consistent one two um you see this consistency of tightening is one way to drive the devourer god is not a magician you have to be consistent Praise God. God blesses you ten times. You tight once. Your heavens are completely closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now and I command breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Let me lay my hands quickly now. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Go now and cost that spirit.
Lord, thank you so much for your patience. I just took advantage of the rain. I want to prophesy over your life now. We're going to be very fast, five minutes, and we're out of this place. Please, I want you to believe every prayer that is coming now. Every prayer. Come. Every prayer. The Lord is taking you to a new dimension. A new dimension, a new level. Cameraman, God is wiping your tears. Keep the camera first, wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is wiping your tears. This lady, I'm praying God is visiting her family. That lady standing close to Ella. I'm seeing a vision that the Lord is going to show her a breakthrough. I'm commanding right now in the name of Jesus, everything tying down your families, particularly the Lord is asking me to release the family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy. Those outside, please follow me. Those online, follow me. Our time is gone, but let's just be patient. Two, three minutes, we're out of here. I decree and declare from tonight, move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Make progress 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 in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Multiply in the name of Jesus. Anyone here who has lost anything in your life, I declare, I'm seeing 28 in 28 days. Shato Soto Koto Pakata. 28 days from now, I command that it comes back to your hands. I command that it comes back to your hand. I command that it comes back to your hand. Anyone here who has been victimized by life, by circumstances, by men, I decree and declare, may the God I serve vindicate you right now. Everyone here in need of direction, you are praying, oh God, I need to know what step do I take. In the name of Jesus tonight, strange encounters that bring you direction. Strange encounters that bring you direction. The yoke of poverty and hardship and lack, I command it to live your life now. I command it to live your life now. Live your family now. Live your destiny now. I pray for every family represented here. Whatever you are trusting God for as a family, I release my faith with you and I decree and declare that it is turned into your testimony now. The kind of favor you have not seen from January till now, I decree and declare from tonight, not tomorrow, from tonight, let it start working in your life. Strange favor in your life strange favor in your life God has placed his honor upon this ministry I pray for you from today anywhere you go whether they know you or not I command them to honor you believe it I command honor upon your life in the name of Jesus two more prayer points and we are done Whatever has made your pace of your life slow. Some of you are moving forward, but you are too slow for your destiny. At the rate you are going, you will not do much in your lifetime. I prophesy to you, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace for speed. Receive the grace for speed. Do in one month what you have not done in five years. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, I pray for you. Whatever has taken advantage of your spiritual life, your prayer life, your fasting life, word life, passion for God, passion for the house of God, right now I stretch my hands and I declare fresh fire on your altar. Prayer fire on your altar. 
word fire on your altar fasting fire on your altar I decree and declare upon everyone receive a manifestation of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus let me add one last prayer point judgment upon the wicked let it begin tonight some of you don't like the prayer I say it again judgment upon the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ that every man woman boy and girl that partners with darkness to frustrate your destiny may the God of vengeance arise in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye